Andy from twnonline.co.uk. In this guide, I'm going to walk through the steps needed to successfully install VMware tools on CentOS. VMware tools are a set of optional installable programs and drivers that will provide a significant performance increase to your virtual machine. In addition to Linux versions, there are versions of VMware tools available for other operating systems such as Windows, Solaris, FreeBSD and NetWare. As I'm using a Linux operating system, in this instance Red, the Red Hat based CentOS, I'm going to be installing the Linux version of the tools. First of all, I need to make the tools available inside the virtual machine. This is done by selecting to install slash upgrade VMware tools from the VMware software you're using. In VMware ESXi, this is done from the VM menu, guest, install upgrade VMware tools. This may differ depending on the uh, version of VMware that you're using. Once you've selected to start the install of VMware tools, a virtual CD is auto-mounted on the desktop. As you can see, the CD contains a tar archive containing the files we need to install VMware tools. Now that we have VMware tools available to our virtual machine, we need to check that our system meets the requirements for installing VMware tools. And the easiest way to perform the next few steps is from a command line, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the terminal application. Now that we have VMware tools available to our virtual machine, we need to check that our system meets the requirements for installing v VMware tools. And the easiest way to perform the next few steps is from a command line, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the terminal application. Currently I'm logged into the system as my own general use user account, which does not have full permission to complete the next few steps. So I need to use the root account, which is a special administration account, which has full permissions to perform these tasks. By typing the command su into the terminal, we're telling the system that we want to substitute our own user account for the root user account. To finish the, the substitution, you just need to type in the root password. Now we're logged onto the system as root and can perform any action that we need to to install VMware tools. Step one, required packages. In order to install VMware tools, we need to check that we have two groups of software packages installed on our system, GCC and kernel development packages. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the GCC or the kernel DVAL packages. Uh, all we really need to know is that they're required in order to install and configure VMware tools. The GCC or to give it its full name, the GNU Compiler Collection is a software compiler used for compiling software from source code into ex executable packages. Kernel development packages contain the information required in order to build kernel modules and again is required by the VMware tools install process. Using the uh, yellow dog updater or yum for short, we will install the two requirements by typing yum space install gcc space kernel hyphen devel. Yum will check the latest versions of these packages and required dependencies and display them on screen. As I want to go ahead and install these, I'm just going to press Y and enter to continue. The packages are then downloaded. Depending on your internet connection and system speed, this process may take a few minutes or longer. Once downloaded, we can import the CentOS GPG key and begin the install process by entering Y and enter to continue. The downloaded packages will then be installed. Step 2 Version Checks Now that we have the latest version of the kernel development packages installed, we need to check that we can use them with the kernel version we have installed. If your system is fully up to date, then you should be good to go. If not, you may need to update your kernel version or download the relevant kernel development packages for your kernel. To check the version that we currently have installed, we can use the command uname space hyphen r. As you can see, the version I have installed is 2.6.18-164.el5. Now what we need to do is just compare them against the kernel development version that we've just downloaded and installed. The command to list the kernel development packages is rpm for Red Hat Package Manager hyphen q space kernel hyphen devel. That command will also work with any other um, Red Hat Package man Management packages you have installed. Now as you can see there the two packages don't match so what I'm going to need to do is actually update the kernel version that's installed on my system. 
If you do decide to update, please ensure you've made the appropriate backup steps before updating the kernel, which is the core of your operating system. As I'm happy to continue, I'm going to use yum to update my kernel. The command to do this is yum space hyphen y upgrade and then kernel. Now that the download and install is completed, we need to reboot the system to start using the new kernel version. So we'll just give the system a quick reboot. Step 3, the install. Once we're logged back in and restarted, let's just do a quick check to check the versions uh, of the kernel and the kernel development packages match. Uh, first remembering to uh, use the command su to make sure we're running as root. So once again the command to check um, the system kernel version is uname space hyphen r and the command to check the kernel development packages is rpm space hyphen q space kernel hyphen devel. As you can see, this time both the packages match so we can go ahead and install VMware tools. As we already have the uh, VMware tools CD-ROM in the drive from before, we can simply use the following command to make that available from within the terminal, which is the mount command. mount space forward slash dev forward slash CD-ROM space forward slash mnt that's now made the CD-ROM available to us containing the VMware tools. In order to uh, extract the contents of the tar archive from the CD-ROM, we're just going to issue a command and part of this, this next command is the actual name of that uh, archive file. So it might be worth just checking um, to confirm the name of, of the one on your CD-ROM uh, because it may differ from the one that, that I have here in the demonstration. So the command I'm about to issue is the one that I'm just highlighting here, uh, which is tar space hyphen uppercase c space forward slash tmp space hyphen zxvf space hyphen mnt forward slash and then the name of the archive on your CD-ROM, which in my case is VMware Tools hyphen 8.3.7 hyphen 341 836.tar.gz. It's also worth mentioning that it is case sensitive as well. So if your the name of your archive is with an uppercase um, V and an uppercase M, uh, they need to be uh, uppercase in the in the command as well. Now we're ready to execute or extract the tar archive. I'm just going to hit enter to extract that. Once the files have been successfully extracted, we can go ahead and just change directory to the temp directory. Um, and if I quickly list the files that are there, we can see that there's a folder called vmware-tools-distrib, uh, which is where the files that we've extracted are now, now located. So I'm just going to quickly change into the vmware-tools-distrib folder, and then just do a quick list once again. In this folder, there's a number of folders uh, and files. The vmware-install.pl file is the script file that we want to run to install uh, VMware tools. So I'm just going to run that um, by typing period or full stop forward slash vmware-install.pl. Now this is the VMware tools installation wizard. Most of the default settings uh, for my purposes are fine. Um, the default settings are the ones listed here in between the uh, square brackets uh, and I can just literally hit enter to accept the defaults as I go through. Um, you may want to take a bit of time and just read those and make sure you're happy with the defaults but for my instance uh, they're fine. After you've gone through a number of settings and a few services have been started, you'll then be asked to select a screen resolution. Uh, I'm just going to keep mine at the 800 by 600 that it's set at at the moment, uh, but you may want to choose something that's a little bit more appropriate uh, for, for general use. So number 11 uh, in the list, which is the third one down, is 800 by 600. I hit enter and the screen resolution um, is then set 
to the, the one I selected and the VMware tools installation um, will just finish off and drop you back to the command prompt and that's it VMware tools is now installed onto your system and just to check that I'm just going to pop into the system and the services uh, section again just checks for root authentication and we should be able to see in the services right down the bottom somewhere that VMware tools is now installed and it's at run level 5. I hope this video has been useful uh, if you have any questions or, or just comments feel, feel free to email us at info at twnonline.co.uk 